podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast, episode 1445, time greater than an hour ago. Oh, this is embarrassing. Joe sent this question in almost a year ago. I don't know. It got lost in the inbox over there. Um, Joe wants to put it in a time in cell A1, and when it's currently an hour after that time, he wants to turn that time red or something like that. So I'm going to use conditional formatting to do this. He wanted to know if we could do it without adding any additional formulas to the worksheet. Um, let's just talk about a couple of functions. There's a function called equal now. And when you enter equal now, it's possible for you to see just the time, so 7.53 a.m. But it's actually storing the date and the time. Uh, let's compare that to equal today, which gives us the date at midnight today. So what we really need is we need uh, now minus today. That will give us just the time portion of the day. And you can see we can format that as a time. Good to go. So then what we need to do is we need to compare uh, that formula to uh, 1 divided by 24. That's 1 hour. And let's format that just as a number. A whole bunch of decimal places. Oh, no. Equal 1 divided by 24. There we go. Um, so I kind of built this uh, formula over here. You know, anytime I'm going to do the formula in conditional formatting, I want to build it in the spreadsheet to make sure it's working. So equal now minus today minus a1 uh, greater than 1 24th. And I can actually uh, use my Gervin's trick. I'll press F9 there uh, to evaluate that. So that's the formula I want to use. Control C, to copy it to the clipboard, and then come back here. Alt O D for conditional formatting. I want to do a new rule. Use a formula. And the formula is going to be Control V. Uh, what's the format? Uh, we'll just Use a red fill and a white font in bold. All right, click OK. 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 Well, OK, now we have a couple of options. We could sit here at 7.55. We could sit here until 8.30 and see if the thing turns red. Um, or we can just backdate this to, let's say, 6.30 a.m and you'll see that it will turn red. Now, the hassle is you have to be working in Excel to have this work because that will not recalculate on its own. Either you have to enter something or press F9. Uh, so if you just you know, were going to meditate for an hour and you wanted to turn red when you should stop, it's not going to do it. You have to have something there. You have to be working in Excel. As long as you're entering things in Excel, uh, you see that like that time right there will update. It'll stay at 7.55.48 for a long, 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 long time. Um, but uh, once I enter something, then it updates. So as long as you're working in Excel, this will work. If you're just leaving the screen blank, uh, it's not going to work at all. So, all right, hey, I'm uh, recording these ahead. I'm actually down in Florida when you uh, see this. So uh, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I want to thank Joe for sending that question in. And uh, sorry it took me a year to get to it. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.